Uh, real quick, quick unboxing today. Uh, two packages I, I got sometime last week. I haven't gotten a chance to uh, overview or go or anything. Uh, let's see, we're looking at War for Cybertron GS12 Grease Pit. Damn that glare. I need to get better lights in here. Anyway, and uh, let's see, War Hot House War for Cybertron GS15 Hot House. And basically, it's my understanding that these are just recolors of uh, uh, Airwave and Ironworks uh, from the previous two uh, uh, War for Cybertron waves uh, of um, Siege and Earthrise. Let's see, we're going to try opening Hot House here real quick. Colors are pretty lively. Check them out. Now, it's my understanding that these guys are based off of uh, Generation 1. Generation 1 play sets um, for the Micro Masters. I never had those. Uh, I did have a bunch of Micro Masters, but I didn't really follow any of the... Uh, uh, the fiction on them, except for, I think there was a one-issue story, maybe two-issue arc, in the Marvel books. Uh, this one, yeah, it's Hot House. I think he's supposed to be a fire station. This one, chicken or grease pit. I like the colors. Yeah, the colors on this guy are pretty lively. I pretty I dig them. There you go. Yeah, side by side. Hot house and airwave. I think I like airwaves colors better. And heck, this is actually two Ironworks figures cobbled together. I saw this mode. I didn't come up with this mode. Uh, it was in like an Instagram feed or something. Uh, and I figured it out. I wish uh, some of these fan modes had uh, instructional videos so I could do that because my imagination ain't all there. But compared to these two guys. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I kind of like... I like them both. For different reasons, I guess. But that's just uh, my quick unboxing. I need to really do a, a more uh, substantial video uh, featuring uh, Ironworks and Airwave. I've got four of the four each of those figures. And I was trying to do uh, mini bases and stuff like that. Uh, my attempts were not very good. So, uh, if anybody has any uh, suggestions on how to convert these into good-looking bases, you know. Uh, to go up to next next to uh because i i'm pretty sure that they're compatible with omega supreme and i think scorponok is the other one um which i have both figures but uh i have yet to do any kind of uh, uh merging of the figures to uh pad out the base modes and see what they look like um let me know what you think. Uh, if you've got any suggestions or comments, put them in the comments bar and we will check you guys later.